Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss accounting for liabilities that result from exit and disposal closure activities. Now this is a real story. My wife works for Johnson & Johnson and she started to work for them, if my memory serves me right, in year 2013. And the first three years from 2013 to 2016, I still remember, every five to six months my wife would come home and she would say, well, the company is going through another reorganization, a downsize, a change in management structure, you know, something's going on. And every time this happens, well, people will get laid off. And as a result, you have to pay people or you have to reallocate people to other divisions or transfer them, give them options to transfer. For example, my wife work in Pennsylvania. Maybe she, she would be offered a job in Boston if she would like to and the company will pay her expenses. Now, back then, luckily, my wife survived all these reorganization, downsizing, change in management structure. And she, up till, up till now, which is 2022, end of 2022, she still work for J&J. &J. But the point is, this happens a lot in companies. Now, what costs are we dealing with that we have to account for as a result of this disposal closure activities? Well, first of, first of all, we're, they're gonna lay off employees. And as a result, they're going to have a severance pay. Believe it or not, back then I was I was thinking, well, yes, why not? You know, lay off, you know, if, if my wife get laid off, she might get two, three, six month salary all at once. It all depends on how long you've been there, but you, you have to pay the employee severance pay. You have to, as I told you, you might have to relocate the employees. And that's an additional cost. For example, if someone is working in Philadelphia, you will give them the option to move to California. But as a result, you have to pay for their expenses, selling their homes, buying a home in California, transportation, so on and so forth. That's an additional cost. Sometime what happened is, not sometime, when you close, you might have lease with the landlord. Well, guess what? You're going to have to break the lease. And as a result, you might have to pay a penalty. And... When that happens, you have to expense it. So all these are costs that you have to record in this period because the lease no longer provide any future benefit. You might have to combine branches, which is when you close a branch. If it's, if it's being rented, you might have to break the rent. You have to break the lease. There's a fee. Simply put, any cost of closure, all these costs will be treated as part of the disposal closure activities and will be part of what? Part of the liability. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Now, when to record this liability and how much to record? Well, at some point, the company is deciding and, you know, in the background, the employees don't know that this is, this is on, ongoing. Well, the decision to close does not amount to recording a liability. The company will have to announce it publicly. And usually before they announce this publicly, usually what they do in the real world, they speak to employees who are affected. Then they call for a town meeting and they will tell everyone, they will announce it, but usually they sp speak to the employees. And again, my wife would say, we're going to another t town hall meeting, another town hall meeting. But usually the employees affected, I would say, are you going to be laid off? I would say no, because people who are affected, they already, they already talked to them. So that's what happened. So when do you recognize the liability? Well, any liability will be recorded when the event actually occurred. So when does the event occur under those circumstances is when the company announced it. Because once they, announcement, that once they announce it, they have a liability because, as I said, they speak to the employees. They, they told the employees, we're laying you off. And they tell them, as a result, uh, you might get some sort of a severance package. So when, when that happened, a present obligation to pay in the future is created. Basically, it sounds like a liability. This is when we record the liability. And there is no way out of this liability. Once you announce it, once you tell the employee this is going to happen, you can't cancel that liability anymore. Simply put, it sounds like a liability. So once it meets those, those three points, it's a liability. Now, sometimes what happens 
we might incur future operating losses from the closure of this operation, those are recognized in period incurred because that could happen. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll record them in future periods. Now, how much to record? How much to record? Well, we're going to have to determine the fair value of the liability. How do we determine the fair value of the liability? We have future cash flow expected to be dispersed. We discount them. This is how we figure out the liability. Now, this could change. This could change. Why? Maybe one of the employees or several employees, they may renegotiate with the company. They want a larger package. Um, the fee was larger than what we thought, what we estimated originally for breaking the lease. That's fine. We treat those changes prospectively, just like any change. Now, we're to report this information on the income statement. On the income statement, generally speaking, you would report this as loss from continuing operation. Companies lay off people all the time, do reorganization, downsize, so on and so forth unless unless we are dealing with a discontinued operation so we are closing down an operation and it's considered a strategic shift that's totally different then it will be part of discontinued operation which is covered in totally separate lecture now what else do we have to do we have to disclose the company will have to tell the investors what's going on so you'll have to in the, in the annual report you have to put a description of the exit activity basically talk about the benefit the circumstances why did you undergo this and usually it's for cost saving to better manage the company blah 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 all that stuff then you have to break down the cost of major activities for this period as well as the cumulative amount of future period you have to tell us how much you're incurring this cost of this period and future period you also have to reconcile the liability simply put you're going to have a beginning liability and ending liability and someplace in between you might have to pay off the liability just show us how much the big estimated original liability was how much you paid off and what's the ending liability what's left to pay and sometimes you cannot properly estimate the cost for certain activities division branches then disclose this information now when it comes to disclosure i always tell students especially if you're studying for the cpa exam choose your favorite large corporation and check their annual report like if you look up pfizer or johnson and johnson these large companies they always go through some sort of a reorganization or downsizing look at their disclosure and see what they talk about and you'll have a good idea about what they're talking about but this is basically what you need to know about this liability, which is accounting for liabilities that deals with exit, disposal, or closure activities. Again, in the real world, we call it downsizing, reorganization, or some sort of a fancy name that's provided by a consultant. Uh, actually, yes, my wife did survive those, uh, those uh, reorganization, and matter of fact, two of her supervisors were let, were let off, and she wasn't. I mean, at some point, I was hoping she would get laid off but she did not she need she needs a break <laughs> all right everyone stay safe and uh, study hard